here is the before. Nicole and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the first vlog that I've vlogged since coming back from Colorado And I know you guys are probably questioning. Hey, is that kitty's toy that I hear right there? But kitty's right here. Yeah, Freya is playing with kitty's toy on the floor back there and kitty was sitting up here on the desk Just like staring at her like is that my toy? <laughs> I think she likes it because it makes noise when she plays with it, but oh well happy Tuesday I mainly picked up the vlog today You probably already know by the title because I scheduled myself a hair appointment So we're finally getting my hair done like cut I've been talking about it for so many vlogs and for so long of like what I should do with it Because it's all one length and it's at this awkward length that like I can style it But it also looks weird if I let it air dry because it just like so like I don't know what I want to get done to it yet I'm basically just gonna tell my problems to the lady and see what she suggests because they're the professionals so I will leave it to her. I kind of scared Griffin though because he knows that I only schedule hair appointments when I'm like ready to chop all my hair off and I was like I scheduled a hair appointment tomorrow and he goes oh no what happened like why are you chopping your hair because he knows I really only do that when I'm like going through something <laughs> and he's not wrong and I'm not planning on chopping it but honestly I have I literally have no idea I don't really care like I like my hair the length it is but I also love my hair when it's chopped I think it looks so good on me it makes me look older kind of thing but this happens every time where I'm like oh I want to chop my hair and then I do and I love it and then like three weeks later I'm like oh my gosh I want my long hair again like I want both at the same time and my hair grows really fast so I'm not really worried about it even if I decide to chop it because it'll grow back in a year but I'm of course taking you guys with me my appointments at 10 30 in the morning it's 9 30 right now so I do need to shower and get ready for that appointment though I can't roll up looking like this <laughs> Oh my gosh, I look the exact same on this screen right now. <laughs> I'm editing the final last day of Colorado vlogs. It should be up today. I'm literally just doing my final watch through right now and it'll be uploaded, but it'll have to go up after my hair appointment. It's taken me so long. Like it's literally a whole month later of uploading these vlogs. That's crazy. And especially this last one is so sad. Like us leaving and turning everything in. I'm like, oh, it makes me miss Colorado so much. Are you playing with Kitty's toy? <laughs> Can I have it? Will you catch it? We've been trying to teach her how to catch. She caught a ball yesterday. She's probably not going to catch this. Ready? Oh, it oh, there you go. She's just like dumb when it comes to catching things and she won't catch anything, but she finally caught a ball yesterday and I got it on camera and I freaked out. I posted it on her Instagram and I sent it to Griffin and he was like, oh my God, because we've been trying to get her to catch forever. Like we want her to play Frisbee. Like we want her to do that kind of stuff, but we can't get her to catch things. So progress, <laughs> but let's get ready for my hair appointment. And here we are. Here is the outfit. Black shorts and a striped black and white shirt. I believe this is from like Charlotte Russe like five years ago. I think these shorts are from Target. I think they're like Wild Fable. That's what we got. She is still playing with Kitty's toy and Kitty is still watching her. I'm sorry. I'll get you more toys, okay? They'll be just yours. <laughs> Little Miss is coming with us because I'm gonna drop her off at Griffin's parents' house while I get my hair done. She can get her little energy out, have her little activity of the day, hanging out with them in their yard because they have obviously like a whole backyard that she can like run in and play in and all that good fun stuff. So we're gonna drop her off. Up, up. Yes, good girl. Oh, you already got your bone. Random dog training tip because I don't know if I've ever said this in a video before But if you guys remember Freya used to be very like scared and anxious in the car And one thing that we did to help that was to put something that she loved in the back seat So that way every time she came in she had that special thing and it stayed back here So she doesn't get it in the house The only time she gets this thing that she loves so much is when she's in the car So she starts to build this love and excitement for the car because she loves and is really excited for that bone back there So it stays in the car for her She gets to chew on it whenever she's in here and it makes her happy and like over time She just yeah started to build that relationship between those two things. I did the same thing with like crate training. So she only gets peanut butter Kongs in the crate, period. She loves peanut butter. She loves Kongs, all that kind of stuff. We only give them to her when we're leaving the house and when she is in her crate. That way she's building that positive association with the crate and with us leaving. So she doesn't care that we're leaving. Like she's like, oh heck yes, please leave so I can get a peanut butter Kong. And that really helped with crate training and with separation anxiety and all that good stuff. So I hope that's helpful. <laughs> all right, my love, let's go play with Grammy. Oh. 
Alrighty, Little Miss is hanging out. The cicadas are so bad near Griffin's parents' house. They're like everywhere. It sounds like alarms are blaring because they're so freaking loud. It's so gross. All right, here is the before. We got long hair, no layers, nothing. Let's see. Are y'all ready for the after? I will, I will prep and say that it's not that drastic of a change, but it's drastic for me. So here's the after. <laughs> and I know first glance, you guys are probably like, you didn't even change anything. Just looks like you got it curled. What I decided on is something that I've never done before because typically, like I said in the beginning, I just chop my hair like once a year and I just chop it, you know? And it's always been all one length. I got layers. So I now have like short layers and medium layers and then my extra long layers. Since I've never had layers, I've definitely certainly never had bangs since I was like five years old. So I got longer curtain bangs. So that way, like if I wanted to put it up in like a clippy thing, I would have some that would hang out. That's so cute to me. Like I've never had this. I know you guys are probably like, Marissa, this is not revolutionary. It is for me, okay? But this is like exactly what I wanted anyways. I just, I remember in one vlog, I was like, do I chop it or do I get layers and like just get more to my hair? And I'm glad I decided on this first because I texted Alexis and she said the same thing. I can chop my hair anytime, but if I chop my hair, then I don't get to try this at least. And if I didn't like it, I would just chop it or whatever. So before I chop my hair off, probably in a couple months, might as well like play a little bit with it and play with the length and do things that I've never done before. So yeah, we got freaking bangs. We got curtain bangs, which looks so cute. And it just like really fades well into the rest of my hair, especially with it curled. I'd be curious to see how it's going to look like natural. I'm happy. I think she cut off like an inch, maybe definitely not a lot. I told her to like keep the length as much as possible. And then yeah, we just added layers. I'm happy and that's all that matters. I swear this always happens Like I knew that today I was gonna get all pretty and I'm like, oh, we're gonna film a bunch of videos today because I need to And of course there's like work emergencies happening and I'm getting like 73 emails of like things I need to get done today I'm gonna have to run to all these shops and like do that and I didn't want to go to work today I literally wanted to film and edit. I have so much editing to do. I have so much filming to do. This always happens Ugh. And especially with little miss here like I usually try to plan my work day so that way little miss is at day daycare because I don't like her just sitting at home all day by herself. But she can't go to daycare right now. And I have to go to work and not get my other work done. Ugh! Literally, just to prove my point from earlier, I was filling up her Kong because I'm leaving and I'll be gone for a little bit. She's already sitting in her area because she knows that she's going to get this in your crate. And that's the only place she gets peanut butter Kong. And so she's not acting anxious or like whatever about me leaving. She knows that she's going to get something yummy and that's all that matters. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. I'm on my way to do something not weird, but something that I've never done before. And I'm kind of excited about it. Basically, I have a subscriber that I've been like DMing with for like quite some time about Ohio State or even just like things. Like they're always kind of swiping up on my stories. Like we just talk, you know, very sweet, very nice. And so she asked me if I'd be willing to kind of meet with her and talk with her and just like answer some questions as much as I can. Like I know that I obviously do not work for the university, but I can try to help as much as I can with the knowledge that I have kind of thing. So I'm actually on my way to go have breakfast with her. I want to help as much as I can. And it's weird that I don't make, you know, college videos anymore or I'd be, you know, doing a Q&A or answering those kinds of questions. But I kind of told myself that after I graduated, I am no longer a college YouTuber. So I don't want to go back and forth because on the technical side of things, it messes up the algorithm as far as like what I'm posting and what YouTube will recommend my videos and who YouTube will recommend my videos to because if I'm posting college content they're gonna push me there but I don't post a lot of college content so I'd rather be pushed to people that are not into college content as much that's like the technical side of it so I'm happy to be able to kind of like do college things again and help somebody out today is also kind of like a catch-up day in a way I have to do some editing I get a video posted maybe start packing because we're moving soon. I haven't even mentioned that in this vlog. Things have been, I can't even, I don't even have an excuse. Things have just been hectic and I have not been on top of my shit. I posted today on my Instagram about how I've been like lacking motivation and in general, my routines have been so off and it's throwing me completely for a loop. So I'm trying to get back onto things or just trying to like get my life together and it's kind of hard. So I'm trying to figure out what kind of videos I need to film for moving as far as like packing, apartment hunting, empty apartment tours, the halls in that regard. And I need to get back into my vlogging game because I haven't vlogged since Colorado. I'm just all over the place and that's okay. But yes, we are moving. I'm not even sure if this vlog will go up before the vlog of us like apartment hunting and like doing that kind of stuff. We've already found a place. We've already signed the lease. I've already filmed the empty apartment tour. We just haven't started packing or moved yet because we don't have to be out of our current apartment until July 15th. And today it is June 22nd. So we have time to kind of take it slow, but we do need to start rolling. Like I gotta start packing. I need to get things together. So life is a little hectic, but it's fun right now. And I just feel like I have so much to catch you guys 
guys up on because I haven't been vlogging, but I don't want to ramble. So I'm going to go to breakfast and I will check in with you guys afterwards and see what we get into, see what I have time to do. Who the heck knows? <laughs> it is actually many, many hours later because I'm sure you guys were like, you didn't you just eat breakfast? Why are you eating again? We tried to go get breakfast, but the place we tried to go to was actually closed. So we just ended up getting coffee at espresso on campus <laughs> and got like a bagel and stuff like that. So that was honestly six and a half hours ago. I was with them though for like four hours. They're the sweetest people in the whole wide world. If you guys are watching this, which I know you are, Lindsay, thank you guys so much. You guys are so sweet. I loved meeting you guys and I'm hoping I was helpful. <laughs> but as soon as I got back, I went into like a deep editing hole and I actually finished editing two videos. One being our apartment hunting video. So you guys can see like eight different units that we toured and my thoughts on all of that. And it's a really good video. It's like 20 something minutes long, but I gave you guys as much detail as I could as Griffin and I were like apartment hunting. So that'll be going up probably after this vlog. Again, I don't know when everything's going up. And then I also finished editing a vlog that I filmed when Freya was sick two weeks ago. I kind of just wanted to document her being sick and the process of us like going to the vet and everything, which I talked about why in that video, but basically I just do a lot of like Freya's perfect and our life is perfect kind of thing. And nobody really talks about the dog getting sick and I'm a paranoid pet parent. So just kind of like sharing those struggles with you guys. So that vlog will also go up probably before this one, but I feel accomplished that I got two things done. But now I'm freaking starving and I'm gonna be making chicken noodle soup and grilled cheese. I don't know why, I just, I'm in that kind of mood right now. And so I'm letting my soup cool off because it's always so hot out of the microwave. And this apartment is a mess. When I tell you that like I'm all over the place, my space definitely reflects that. Y'all know how OCD I am and how like clean I am. And this place, probably for most of you guys, is nothing, but to me, it's atrocious. I have not wiped the counters down in so many days. There's like dried, I don't know, on the counter. Like, let me just give you a look while my sandwich maker is warming up. But counters definitely need wiped off. Like, I don't even know what is on the counters. We have moving boxes in the kitchen because we're gonna start packing soon. Freya stuff, I literally have an air mattress, which will be its own vlog. <laughs> That'll be coming soon. The dishes need done so very badly. This counter needs wiped down. There's like, I don't know, stuff from season, I don't, stove is gross. And this has looked actually worse. I'm surprised that there's only like seven dog toys on the ground because every day she usually dumps out her entire freaking bin. And honestly, I've just been too lazy to clean it all up every day. I used to be really good at it, but we're just a little discombobulated right now folks kitty doesn't seem to mind random jacket from this morning my shoes even the bedroom is a little discombobulated but these are actually new clothes that i'm gonna be trying on i'm so excited for these i have actually the shirt on that i have now is from this brand but i've seen everybody wearing these little like workout dresses with like shorts in them and i've been dying 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 to have one so i got two of them i actually tried this one on this morning and was gonna wear it but it was actually really chilly so i decided not to i got the iconic little tennis skirt moment that everybody's also wearing because it looked super cute got a new pair of like yoga shorts because i only have one and you know can't have too many of those and then a pair of just like black running like workouty kind of shorts i also got this top which is like a sports bra it's padded and it feels so supportive but it's just kind of longer but crumb I think it's the perfect look for like a sports bra like I could go work out in this but also athleisure wear leggings this shirt That's kind of what I was wearing today and it has like the sports bra look in the back So it's super comfy. I'm actually working with the brand that sent them to me So you guys will see that in a future video in early July I have like a full breakdown of the clothes, but I like wearing them I was talking with the people that I actually met up today I like wearing things or using of course brand deal stuff before I do the brand deal because I don't want to just blindly Recommend things to you guys unless I've actually tried them. So a little behind the scenes of like YouTuber life. Griffin and I will be working out tonight and I'm gonna wear this just so I can like try it out. So in case you're curious of yeah how brand deals work because they kind of asked me that today and I went into a little bit of detail about how that works. Another thing that we talked about together, they told me of course how they like found me on YouTube and it was like a mom and a daughter and the mom said that she found me in like an OSU parent Facebook page and by seeing one of my videos, which was my meal plan video. <laughs> and I told her more often than not when I meet people, they all say that that's how they found me. So I'm curious if you guys remember how you found me or when you found me, what was like the first video you saw of mine? I don't know. I'm just so curious to find out because most people say it's the meal plan video, especially if you guys were like going to Ohio State and you found me in like my college days of doing college kind of videos, but if you found me now, like post grad, I'm curious of when you found me. Guys, I'm gonna miss this apartment so much. Like this background, all the white cabinets and countertops and just how beautiful this place is. I talk about this in the apartment hunting video. We would have renewed if we just didn't need more space. Like we've outgrown the one bedroom kind of thing. So we have to move on. A two bedroom here is like way out of our price range. So we also can't like stay within the same unit. So it's just time to get a new apartment, but I am going to miss this place. Like, ugh, it is so beautiful. My grilled cheese maker 
is the shit. And I don't know why, but grilled cheese and chicken noodle soup is just like comfort food for me. Hello, hi kitty. There are people that are saying that with all my like day in the life of Freya, they want a day in the life of kitty. And honestly, I would if she didn't just sleep all damn day. The only thing she does is sit here, get pets, sleep and then lay on my desk while I work. She doesn't do much. She's 11 y'all. Her only job is to be pretty and to cuddle with me in bed. And she's amazing at both. Hi there. I got my hair cut there last week, um, but I recently washed it yesterday and like, so it dried its natural kind of thing. I guess there's one side, my left side is like longer than my right that I noticed as far as the curls, I guess you couldn't tell. But um, like now I'm kind of noticing a lot of like the unevenness, not like a lot. I don't want it to sound like it's bad, but <laughs> I just wanted to give a call sooner rather than later to see if there was a possibility if I'm able to like come in and just have someone kind of like even it out. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye. I hate being a Karen. <laughs> That's what I felt like just now. But if you guys noticed, I straightened it on like Saturday or Sunday, I forget which day. And I noticed that my hair is like a little bit uneven. Like it's not anything that's crazy or like I was just telling her, it's nothing that I'm like mad about by any means. And I hate being that person that like points that stuff out, but it is kind of like obvious. Like it's, it's very, obvious and it's only like this little chunk like I feel like we just missed a whole thing of hair like right in here and it's not the same length as like the same hair on the same side so when I straightened it I had this like one piece that was like so long and I'm like oh no I made it very clear that I'm like not mad at all the girl that did my hair she was great and I overall love 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 the cut we just didn't notice it because she was cutting it like dry and already styled so after she curled it then she was like kind of touching up pieces so it makes sense like when this piece is curled it, you can't tell that it's any shorter because they're all curled but now that it's like natural and that it's like straightened, I noticed it. So I definitely want that fixed. But overall update on like the cut itself, I love it. I've loved having the little curtain bang moment. I was scared about it. I didn't know if I would. And even I wore my hair in like a low ponytail yesterday, which I never do because I feel like I look like an egg when I do it because my hair is like all slicked back. But like the bang moment, it's absolutely gorgeous. So loving my haircut. But she said she's gonna give me a call at the end of the day to see when they could fit me in. Probably not today. I'm not even expecting today, just sometime this week. It is about 5 30 and i have to go pick up little miss in like a half hour but i've been editing our empty apartment tour and i kind of want to get that finished a little bit at least a little bit more i'm not going to finish it in a half hour but i'm excited for you guys to see that and for us to just get moved in i love moving mainly because it just allows me to get organized and organize things and purge and it's just all of my loves of like ocd-ness in one and i just love change i love moving I'm actually going to head over to the new apartment because we got a package over there and I just want to take it inside to make sure no one steals it. So I'm just going to go there first before going home. Little Miss has already been there before. I took her to just go and like smell around and have fun inside kind of thing before we start moving stuff in while it was empty. So she would kind of get the lay of the land. So I'm going to take her with me again. Of course, duh, I have her with me. See if she kind of like remembers it or I don't know if she goes like crazy again and starts smelling. I'm keeping my sports bra like shirt top on because obviously it's a sports bra shirt top thing. But then I also put on, what did you just do? <laughs> I picked her up and her feet, she like kicked up out and it just like <laughs> Oh my goodness. What I was saying is that I also put on the shorts from the same brand and I feel really pretty and good in it. It's also golden hour, so enjoy. You look gorgeous. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's my hair. I know, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> so like, Look at your new bike. I love it so much. It's so pretty. The white bottle cage is good touch. It matches my outfit right now. <laughs> Look at your belt. <laughs> I love it's that. so cute. <laughs> and she's off. Welcome to my home. <laughs> People this you. Do they though? No. They do. They definitely they miss the podcast. I get messages and DMs about it every day. I like your podcast. I, I know Alexis is one five. of them. She's like, where's the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you, my guy? What are you doing? <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> you can't steal her food. I don't care. The person It's the family size one from Thanks for sharing, Griffin. Wait, hello. Not to me. You see me all the time. It's Alexis. Hi, baby. Oh my gosh. You guys stay down. Stay down. Oh, you're so big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are you so long? Stop so long. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs>
Hi there, can I please have a small caramel frappe? And can I also have a large caramel iced coffee? $4.90. Thank you. Y'all already know the drill. I try a lot of coffees. We, we like to do this kind of thing together. So I got a DM to try a coffee. They saw it on TikTok and it's called the McDonald's Snickers Iced Coffee. However, I feel like this is not gonna taste like Snickers at all because this the way that this girl ordered it, because I have like the screenshot of how to order it, is not available at my McDonald's. So I had to wing it. You start with a large, hazelnut coffee, which checked like the six closest McDonald's locations to me. None of them have hazelnut coffee. So we went with a large caramel iced coffee. And then you're supposed to add a pump of chocolate syrup, a pump of chocolate caramel syrup, and caramel drizzle, which since I got a caramel iced coffee, I just got the chocolate syrup and the caramel drizzle. So I don't know how this is gonna taste, but I tried. This is what the coffee looks like. It looks really good. <laughs> it tastes so good. <laughs> it's not my favorite. <laughs> oh, it's all sitting at the bottom. I do. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why I didn't do that. Give me a napkin. We'll try it now that it's shaken. Better. Like, I'll finish it, but I would not reorder. But, like I said, I couldn't order it exactly. I was kind of upset. <gasps> So maybe if it was done correctly, it might taste good, but my rendition of it is not good. Currently, I'm on my way to get my hair fixed. If y'all remember, it's kind of like lopsided, so my appointment to get that fixed is today. And then I just have a bunch of filming and editing. I have to go to work today. Like, it's a packed day, and it's already two. Where has the day gone? I'm back from getting my hair fixed, and if you guys can tell, it's fixed. I'm glad I got it fixed because I know that I'm just too OCD and anal to, like, look at that constantly. It's group ride time! Heck yeah. Looks like you have red hair. Because you're kind of right here. Oh my goodness. We got a tired pup ready for a nap after daycare. We got this bike, my bike, and my fun socks. 